Hello, my name is Tamlin Tamita, and it is my honor. It's more than an honor. It's a true and complete blessing to have been invited to serve as keynote speaker for Asian Health Services 48th Annual Rise Up Gala. As so many of you know so very well, Asian Health Services has continued to be this incredibly awesome, shining beacon, foundation, pillar of strength for so many, not only in Alameda County, Northern California, the best state in the nation, but this entire nation of ours in providing culturally aware, culturally sensitive, and culturally competent behavioral, mental, medical, and dental health services to over 50,000 individuals in over 12 different Asian languages, all the while serving as one of three action centers committed to addressing anti-Asian hate and violence and building towards true and sustainable solidarity amongst our beautiful, diverse, and vibrant communities. We are still celebrating virtually, taking care of ourselves, and more importantly, taking care of each other. And I happen to reflect upon the very apt title of Asian Health Services. I believe during pandemic, uh, a lot of us took place in conversations around what it means to be American, heated, robust, necessary, passionate discussions that are still going on. Unless you're a Native American or an Indigenous American, we recognize that we are a nation of immigrants. Immigrants get the job done. I have this face, an Asian face. Many of you have Asian faces in supporting Asian health services. We are identified as being Asian. We're Asian American. I share that I'm American. I tell the stories of what it means to be American. In telling the stories through our families, we share aspects of our culture, our heritage through traditions, rituals, ceremonies, through stories of joys and triumphs, stories of tragedy and victories, our histories, our herstories, stories. And no matter how long we've been here, one, two, three, four, five, ten generations, we will always be identified as Asian. It's in our DNA, both literally and figuratively. It gives us our character. It gives us our identity. And in collecting those stories as a storyteller, I acknowledge that the responsibility, the, op, the job, the luxury, the privilege is mine to tell those stories with as much truth and authenticity as possible. Because when I transmit those stories with other storytellers, others, the audience get to hear that we are more alike than we are different. That's the power of story. It's the power of connectivity. It's the power of us united together because we all seek love. We all seek strength. We all seek unity. We all seek community together. And it takes a healthy conversation, an exchange of ideas to get to that realization that we have so much more in common. Coming out of pandemic in realizing that we are in isolation, what does it mean to be healthy? What's good health? It's not just physical health. It's not just emotional health or spiritual health. It's mental health. And health is about circulation. It's about energy circulating. Our bodies are made of bone, blood, sinew, oxygen, constantly in motion, giving and taking and exchanging. That's what we need to do in terms of story as well. In sharing the excitedness, in sharing the commonalities, in sharing the differences and saying, that's another way to look at it. That's another way to look at this story. That's a another way to see this journey, to see the motivation to see the results. Asian Health Services has always been at the forefront of helping others in need, helping those who are vulnerable, helping those communities who are lacking resources, but also they get to gain the knowledge. They get to gain the experiences of those they help. They grow and they evolve with the clients, with the patients, with the people they serve. 
and in service. Service sometimes means selflessness, to be able to give without acknowledgement, gratitude, reward. But I believe Asian Health Services is so ahead of its time in knowing that the more they give, the more they gain in terms of expertise, in terms of compassion, in terms of the fluidity of what it means to be an active participant in our community. I follow that example in trying to give back, in trying to give back to our community members, to give back to our peoples, because in community, we grow together. Thank you for always supporting Asian Health Services. Thank you, Asian Health Services, for giving all that you can. And I look forward to continuing our partnership in giving because we gain so much. We're all in a circle together. The circulation of the stories, the continuity of the stories, and sometimes change affects us, but it only grows the circle bigger. It only makes the circle stronger. Thank you to each and every one of you for supporting Asian Health Services, and I look forward to continuing to be part of our community.